<laughs> All right, Liz, what's happening in Trendwave? Yesterday, the 4th of October, was a day set aside as Teachers' Day. It's also a day when teachers all around the world get to be celebrated for the value they add to the world. And to celebrate this day, popular Nigerian singer Teniola Akpata, professionally known as Teni, went back to a high school at Akpata Memorial High School to celebrate a former mathematics teacher for his impact in her life. She gifted him a brand new Lexus car in commemoration of the 2022 Teachers' Day. Let's watch this. This is my dream that Mr. Okuge is celebrating for me. And he says, Thank you, Allah, Akwata, Akwata Memorial High School. Mathematics, SS2, September 17, 2007. This is my goal. Uh, and I'll just like to say, my book is still in good condition because Mr. Okuge is celebrating it for me. Uh, I just wanted to appreciate your diligence, your integrity and how hard you work, so I decided to buy you a car. was a very heartwarming action, if you ask me. And it's a very good way to put words into action. And the social media streets went abuzz with this news. I must really commend Tenny for this rare act of kindness because I know teachers need to be loved and appreciated for all they do. Let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. That comment is from Lady Delicia. She says, this is amazing. Teachers are the most underappreciated people in the world. None of us would be here where we are without them. God bless teachers. More reactions on this story. That one is from 10 over 10 Otto. It says, well deserved. He sure has been a great teacher all the years. If you went to Akpata Memorial, Memorial, you will agree to this. Now, that's a remark from someone who has an experience with this teacher. That one's from Juice Is It. It says, would have done this for my mathematics teacher, but he kept giving me 0 over 10. I still had the gut to draw my ears with the 0, and it goes with a very sarcastic face. And that one is from Avotan Joseph. It says, wow, this is wonderful, but I will not because my mathematics teacher two beats me. That's how people are reacting to this story. We all know how people feel about mathematics teachers. They seem to be the meanest teachers back then when, when I was in school. I don't want to go back to my own school days, but I must really commend Tenny for what she did. But let's move to Kenya, where Kenyan socialite Vera Sidika has revealed in a post that she has undergone surgery to remove a cosmetic implant popularly referred to as BBLs. She made this known in the post that this implant had been a cause of health risk and, com and complications for her and she urged women to love themselves and not be influenced by peer pressure. Now, that's the post by Vera Sidika, who we know as Queen V. This post read thus. It says, this has been the hardest phase in my life due to health risks and complications. I had to undergo surgery. It's still very unbelievable, but I have come to terms with it and learned to love myself regardless. Then she goes on to say, ladies, please learn to love yourself and don't ever let pressure rush you into things that will ruin you in the future. She went on to add that this was a tough move for her and also thank the fans for their support while promising to reveal more about the surgery over the weeks. She also went on to add that her post might give someone a rethink about getting BBLs. I'm sure anybody who's watching this might also have a rethink. Well, while I'm happy that she's doing this for herself, I believe everyone should do what they want to do with their bodies in the most reasonable way and most especially just avoid following trends. If you're doing what you need to do, do it because you want to do it, not because you're following trends. But we'll take a look at some of the reactions very quickly before I get back to you, Osaogi and Olive. Now, that reaction is from Intiari Beth. This is pure showbiz. Release what you want. We are waiting. Now, this person doesn't believe that she actually did. This person thinks she's probably trying to tease something that we don't know about. That one is from Gina and Faith. It says, thought you said it's original. That was before. Well, um, where they say the truth, when they say it, the truth will always come out. Well, that is what I can bring to you on Threadwave this morning. Very interesting stories, but we just have little time to take them. Osaga and Olive, how would you react to this Thank story? you so much. I mean, these are really heartwarming stories, especially with the Tenny one and with the lady who's calling for people to love themselves. But like a lot of Nigerians will say, Nobby, you could tell me what I could do. <laughs> I just, I really hope that we get to the point where we're not jumping on trends that could potentially harm or hurt us. But then, please jump on trend wave, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will certainly jump on. And, and you look lovely. Thanks for bringing us trend wave this morning. <laughs>